Look at what we got here. Ooh wee. Okay, this is a set of uh, Kenwood speakers, little small speakers that go up in the front of my front speakers. And they'll look like that. So they'll go up in the front. I've already sort of got these screws loose. This bracket will go down onto the magnet. This mat, this, uh, it'll go down over this, clamp down. And then I'm gonna probably have to figure out what I'm gonna do right here to be able to mount that. That bolt was probably long gone, but I don't know. Um, and then also got some wires in here. So if you look, so if you look, you see that there's a positive and a negative and a positive and negative. These wires, one goes to one side, one goes to the other, um, and you wire it accordingly. So like one of these wires is white with no stripe, one's white with a black stripe, same for the gray. One's gray with no stripe, one's black with no stripe. I can't remember which one, but one is for the left, one is for the right, and then those will just wire right in there. So it's gonna be an absolute bear trying to get into the area that I'm gonna have to get to to mount these, but maybe y'all can come along for the ride. Okay, before I get any further, I did buy this part from Firewheel Classics. They had a coupon going for 15% off, so I took advantage of that, and they got it to me the next day, and I paid $89 for this part. Okay, so here's an audio test. It's set at 30 right now, and this was just with the back speakers only. So that was just with the back speakers. Well, oh, here comes the, the fun part. Now I'm gonna have to disconnect all this. I need to disconnect the battery and stuff. And then I'm gonna have to jump in here, take a couple screws out, I assume, start taking all this out to be able to get back into my old radio here. So let the fun begin. I gotta get some AC. <laughs> no, it's just a big fan. I gotta get a fan blowing because I'm sweating to death right now. So. Um, I'll probably have to have voice over all this, trying to get into this and getting it all ready to... First things first. Now, on my application, there should be more screws, but there's a couple screws right here that I'm going to have to undo. And those hook right into this ashtray bracket. So I'm going to get to work on trying to remove those, and then I'll come back after I've gotten that done. I'll go tearing off into there. I think I'm gonna go through the glove box. I've never done this before, but I'm gonna see if I can go through that glove box and then get back in there. You know, imagine that this wasn't here and maybe be able to see things a little bit easier. I'm gonna try that. Hopefully that works. Okay, glove box door has been removed. That's easy. That's just one, two, three uh, screws and then the little lever that goes down in there. That was the easiest part of this whole thing, I bet. No, no, no. Unscrewing the negative from the battery is probably going to be the easiest. So now, so I've got give there. Just got to go in here, find these other screws, undo them, and see if I can take this out. I think this is Craftsman. Let's see. Yep. There's the numbers. Works out really I good. I think it should. Oh my gosh. A, woo -wee. a lot easier than what I thought it was going to be. Thought that was going to some, take some finagling. Hey, right up against the wall again. So now I'm going to pull this part out. And uh, hopefully that one goes just the same. Let me get two hands on it. 
Okay, so what I've sort of done is just sort of rotated this back out the way. And that's the sound of something breaking. Uh, maybe nothing major though. Hopefully nothing major. I don't see anything broke. But definitely sounded like that, didn't it? So this has fallen down. This is to the defrost. So sort of gonna work out that I got into this and did some looking around. Um, I think that's my aux cord right there. And then I'll swing on back around in here. And there's the radio. Okay, I got that zipped, or I'm gonna have to zip tie that. But that's where it went right there. That little spare hose, it actually connects right there. So I'll just get me a zip tie. Maybe I've got enough to, there's not really much lip on there, but I'll see what I can get on there. This is not quite the view I was hoping to have. I mean, it's better than nothing, but my speaker, it's gonna go, it's gonna slide, hopefully, focus. It's gonna slide right up through get right up in there right up there is where right up there is where i have to mount that bracket at and then i have to get over here somehow some way keep coming up with funky okay sorry um i think this is going to be my wiring so now i've just got to find the i see the gray and the white and Tinker around here, see if I can find the right cords. Okay, I decided to go ahead and take off this plate and then be able to get in here a little bit easier. That'll definitely make it a little easier because the speaker goes right there and it'll set right behind where this tube is, if you will. But I've taken this out. It'll allow me to get back in there now, see where I'm trying to get to. I'll have to move this around to be able to see the head unit a little bit better. but. Yeah. There's a really good view of where that's gonna set at. Now I just gotta find the wires. Well, I'm fully into it now. Disconnected. There's the actual hookup right there. So now I gotta trace back to that black box and see if I can find my dang wires that should be right in there somewhere. Dang gum it. Hallelujah. All right. I found my green and my white wire. They're right here. So now, did I say green? <laughs> Gray and white wire. And now it's time to figure out, because I have pushed that head unit for the, for the old temp control. It's all the way over here. So I'm going to try to get my speaker set up in there and mounted and then uh, wired up. Yes, sir. Okay, this should be, like I said, fairly straightforward. I'll have some tinkering around to do, but I'll go ahead and get these wires mounted on here before I even start the process. Now, there's really no messing these up because it's a small tab to a small, uh, small, small female to small male big female to big male and then so on and so forth okay so the way i've got this going right here my white is going to be my left speaker and then my gray is going to be my right speaker and then i'll just try to slide it accordingly right up on in there okay let me show you what i'm doing here so i've got that bracket and i've sort of had to mount it a little bit differently than the factory would have intended but there is a little tab right back there that you have to fit that bracket into and then I've just got to tighten these down up here. And I should be pretty close to getting it wired up. So let me get in there and get to working. Okay, it is in there. Just gonna make sure you get that little tab and that little slip right there. And then it is mounted. Now just to wire it up. Now you don't want to go into this and wire and put everything back and then not test it before you get everything squared away so i'm going to uh, plug in my other phone turn on the radio 
and see if uh, the front speaker is working. Okay, let's see what we got. Let's see if we got power. Okay, we got power. <laughs> That's good. Uh, let me see if I can remember how to... There's some way to toggle over to the aux. Let me see. That's mute. It's one of these little... There we go. Now we're cooking. All right, let's see what we got here. I hear a sound. Turn it up. Let me reset here, get the speed or the, the sound to where it should be. I'm gonna turn it up to 30 where I had it at last time. And then we'll just go from there. All right. So here it is. I can actually hear the radio now. That's gonna be awesome. This was not easy getting put back in there. Maybe in retrospect, I should have pulled it this way and angled it out, I don't know. The glove box is definitely necessary to have to get to because I swiveled the all the this over there and so it's been a chore man did a little bleeding uh you know you're doing work if you're bleeding a little bit so uh i'm gonna try to get everything buttoned back up and get it rolling okay so all in all this was a little bit of a difficult install but it was made worse if you will by the fact that i have air conditioning but it's also made better by the fact that i have air conditioning okay now i will say that I had to go back in and reprogram my air conditioning because I'd unhooked the battery for so long. So, and I say so long as a couple of hours or so, but um, sometimes it does that, sometimes it doesn't, I guess. So I got to experience something new and I had to uh, reprogram my AC. But luckily I thought at first that I screwed something up, but I didn't. It's just whenever you unplug your battery for so long and you've got one of these vintage air AC units, sometimes that will reset the uh, the AC unit itself so you just find there's a ground cable up in there you get in there connect it ground it and then uh, you go through some steps and voila I got on customer support or tech support with vintage air and they squared me away so glad I finally put a front speaker in there it was never in there from the jump for me somewhere over the years it got taken out and just never put it back in so I'm glad I have it Glad I'm rolling with some good tunes now. Hey, like, comment, subscribe, ask questions. I'll do the best I can to answer you. And uh, love you long time.